voice behind the lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for home, recipes, and so much more. Today I'm sharing bookshelf decor and styling ideas. I know it can seem so simple, and it truly is, to decorate your bookshelves, but it can also feel a bit daunting. These simple tips and tricks will make it foolproof every time. Whether you're mixing it up for the season or choosing to go seasonless, these ideas will make it feel warm and cozy and just picture perfect. When you stare at your bookshelves day in and day out, they can get to feel a little boring. Well, no more. I'm going to share some tips that make it really easy to transition your bookshelves from one season to the next and also make it really feel warm and cozy just by adding a few hints here and there. When you start to design your bookcases, just remember that there are no rules. And if there are rules, they were meant to be broken. Do what looks and feels good to you. This is merely just a guide to take the guesswork out and give you some formulas for surefire success. The first step to styling your bookshelves is to start with a blank canvas. Remove everything you have so that you start with a blank slate. When you have a clear canvas, you can really rethink what you have without any restraints. The second step is to gather things of different shapes, sizes, and textures. This will give you an array of things to choose from. I like to collect mine on our coffee table, which is just nearby, and group items of like size or style together. This will help you break them up later and find a formula that fits your space. Shop your home. Don't rush off to the store. I know that this is the minimalist in me, but so often you have what you need right here in your own home. So I recommend that you shop your basement, shop your bedrooms, shop your entire home before you go to the store because you just might find a little treasure. Because I am somewhat of a minimalist, bookshelf decor is actually really challenging for me. I don't want to unnecessarily clutter our home with stuff just for the sake of having stuff. So I like it to be visually appealing, but functional as well. And that's another reason why I love to shop from our home. Bookshelves, of course, host books. If you don't have a lot of books or don't read or just don't have anything that you want to put on display, that's okay. While bookshelves were initially intended to host books, they can also host so many other things and provide function. Aside from any books that you may want to integrate, consider adding something organic to bring them to life, as well as texture to give them depth. Of course, bookshelves should be functional as well, so any pieces that may help you add function and fit the needs of your living room is also welcome. Keep it practical and make it functional. This makes it feel warm and realistic rather than contrived. So when collecting items from around your home, think about the function that they need to serve for your family. You can use baskets and boxes to host things like DVDs and batteries and remotes. And you can use smaller boxes for little things like keys that you may need for that little chest that's underneath your coffee table. Your bookshelf should provide function. If there's anything that you need from them for storage for your living room or any other space that you may have them in, be mindful of that first. When you consider how you use the space, it makes it so much more functional. So as you're collecting items to display in your bookcases, keep function in mind. Collect items both old and new to integrate into your bookshelves to add a little depth and interest. Pottery is one of my favorite additions to bookshelves. We have integrated some pieces like this that the girls made 
as well as antique pieces that Chris gifted me for our anniversary one year. I like to collect them all first in our living room and then I can start playing around with our bookcases. Another great thing to collect from throughout your home is art. Now, if you don't have any art, you can simply create some. I like to print art from the public domain and you can fit any size frame with it. So you can scour your home for extra picture frames that you can use in your bookshelves. Simply print your art, frame it, and voila, add it to your collection to be filtered onto your bookcases here in just a moment. Little knickknacks work really well too. So again, collect them, see what you have, and then when you're ready to style your bookshelves, you can see what works and what doesn't. Step three to decorate your bookshelves is to group things by size. Now that you've collected everything you need, you can group them by size. Even books can be grouped by size. This will help you see what will pair well together and what you need to break up. Then it's time to start filling your shelves. Add a little height to ground your shelves. Then work in smaller pieces like pottery, stacked books, art, or greenery. To add height, create interest and movement. Some of the best styling secrets apply here as well. Use a diagonal line to create visual movement. Also, you can use triangles. Try to work in odd numbers like threes or fives, even ones. They tend to feel a lot more authentic than working in even numbers like two and four. Create a visual triangle with your design in each little section and it should feel amazing. Once you're done decorating your bookshelves, take a step back. Look and see what needs to be adjusted. And one of my favorite secrets, take a snapshot. An iPhone photo will tell you a lot. Take a picture, think about it, simmer over it, and see in that photograph what you like, what feels right, and what feels off. Adjust it and try again. Some additional styling tips are to leave some blank space. Don't overcrowd things. Blank space allows each individual thing to stand out. Create a layered appearance by overlapping items or by spacing them slightly apart. As I mentioned before, think in terms of odd numbers. Ideally, three items will create the traditional design triangle and can help you find the perfect layout. Tall, medium, and low is a great angle to try. A monochromatic or a minimal color palette will make your space feel more sophisticated and refined. I like to keep it to a maximum of just three tones. One easy way to achieve that is by simply turning your books around so that the binds are hidden. I like using long-lasting greenery like eucalyptus or olive branches, but you can also use faux in its place. Adding a little greenery not only looks so beautiful, but it adds warmth and brings it to life. You can mix something in almost any season. For fall, I like to integrate wheat for a natural tone that gives it just that little golden warmth that you love so much in October. During the holiday season, I love incorporating things like poinsettias. The options are endless. You can use whatever plant or greenery you like. As for books, you can stack them both horizontally or vertically. Either way, they feel natural, of course, on bookshelves. Some of my favorite bookshelf decor are baskets, pottery, branches and vases, and little decorative objects. You can find an array of them on my site at julieblanner.com. Did you know you can also purchase books that are intended for bookcase styling. You can find a group of books in any color palette on sites like Etsy, or of course, by scouring your local bookstore. Don't be afraid to add in a few small family photographs as well, or photos of something that's really special to you. You can add in sheet music, or a picture of a building on your grandmother's farm. However you decide to style your bookshelves, I hope you have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed these bookshelf decor ideas. 
Don't forget to click subscribe and ring the bell for notifications, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.